I Ship Cat and Mouse, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Setu83 on Instagram. Super cute. Go find the artist with links in the description box below. Give them all the love and support because, you know, super cute art. Now then, if you're new to this channel, this is where I, Mira, hi, that's me, narrate fanfiction in an audiobook format. So if you like fanfiction or you like listening to things while you do other stuff, go ahead and keep listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to not only subscribe to this channel, but hit the thumbs up and leave a comment to support the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put I ship multi noir. Now then. Please enjoy I Ship Cat and Mouse. Adriana Crest as Cat Noir. Come on, please. I've already been rejected by Ladybug. Multi Mouse, you're my only hope. Cat Noir stared at Multi Mouse, hands clasped together as she sighed. You're really going to ask me out with a Star Wars quote? she asked, crossing her arms. It wasn't often he got to work with her, but he loved it. If only she knew how close they were to the other. Oh, well, secret identities are just that. A secret, at least when it came to himself and Ladybug. Only if you say yes. Multimouse sighed, reminding him of Ladybug for a moment, before flashing him a smile. You know what? Why not, Cat? You do so much for Ladybug, I won't let you go stag to this party. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Ladybug wouldn't do it. I'm pretty sure she thought you were trying to take her on a date. Of course I was. Cat wiggled his eyebrows. But I also don't want to get harassed by girls, you know? I do. Me going with you means I'll be the one to get harassed by those same girls you're referring to. He laughed, as amused as ever by Marinette's, uh, multi-mouse's, quick wit. It's a shame he knew her identity, because it meant Ladybug rarely used her talents. She would be such a great addition to the team, both in cuteness factor and in talent. He shouldn't have to bear the burden of being the cute miraculous holder mascot all the time, right? Even though it was a self-appointed title. So how long do I have to get ready? Multi Mouse asked. Oh, we're leaving right now. Cat took her by the arm, swinging her into his grasp, and took off before she could so much as yell in surprise. You know I'm more than capable of transporting myself. What? Do I smell bad or something? She couldn't help but grin as she shot him a look. Man, superhero chick sure could give a good stink eye. Let's go. She held out her hand after he set her down. Huh? Cat looked down in surprise. We're each other's dates to this party, right? Come on. You don't mind if I... It's not like I'm Ladybug. I don't really care if people write fanfiction about us because we hardly ever see each other. You'd be a good writer, Di. You know that? She laughed. I'm pretty sure that's how Ladybug feels about you. <laughs> Ladybug? Psh! Nah, sure, we're partners, but don't underestimate yourself, Cat. Or her, for that matter. You're each other's writer, dies. Why do you say that? Did she tell you or something? Cat gave a smile and a chin nod to the mayor as they walked in. Isn't it obvious? Malte Mouse gave her own polite waves with her free hand, talking through a smile like she'd done this before. Wow. Marinette is amazing. He wasn't that natural at his first event like this. You're talking to the king of rejection. You've been rejected by, like, one girl, Cat Noir. That doesn't make you the king of rejection unless it's from a bunch of girls, not a bunch of times. Will you go out with me? He broke eye contact with Thomas Astruck to look at her. 
No. He laughed heartily at her response. She hadn't so much as glanced at him when he asked. See? The king. More like a naive prince. Still leaves me as rejected royalty. I'll take it. She sighed and rolled her eyes, cutting the conversation short to go speak with the director of the children's hospital. Good for her, making and using connections. Cat turned his attention to his personal project as well, a director known for being too lax on female model weight requirements. The night carried on with photos and turned down drinks and kisses on cheeks, but Cat kept a lingering eye on Multimouse. She was good at this. Marinette should really consider getting into business. She'd be such a boss babe. Hey, Cat said, approaching Multimouse and gently grabbing her arm to pull her out of her conversation. Yes? She blinked up at him. Was she always this cute? Well, of course she was, but whatever. I've got an idea. Is it a good one? He laughed. I think so. What is it, then? Fundraiser photos. Fundraiser photos? Of you and me. What makes you think they'll sell? He grinned and placed a hand on his chest. Cat, he began. And mouse. She blinked a few times before a smile grew on her face, recognizing what he meant. Got it she said. Where? Give me a moment. I have to make a phone call. Twenty minutes later, Cat Noir, Multimouse, and Alia Cesare were in a car park with a DSLR and a sleepy Nino holding a ring light. It looks like the DJ boy was up past his bedtime, as the night was no longer young. So what are we going for? Alia asked, adjusting her ISO for the darkness. Cat and Mouse? I was thinking more of creatures of the night, Cat said. Multimouse kept staring wordlessly at Alia. Was she doing that telepathic girl talk thing? What, and miss out on the predator-prey ship action? Ship action? Cat turned his attention to Multimouse, who looked just as confused as he was. People ship us? Alia laughed. Of course they do. Look at yourselves. Multimouse looked up and shrugged, her lower lip protruding just a bit. Some people, she said. You cool doing ship pictures together? He asked. For charity? Sure. Yeah, Alia winked. For charity. Cat Noir narrowed his eyes, trying to figure out Alia's tone before shrugging and wrapping his arms around Marinette. A uh, multi-mouse. He wrapped his arms around multi-mouse. We good? He asked, noticing Nino adjusting the ring light. Now look like you like each other, Alia called out. Cat rolled his eyes, but tugged her closer to him. Looking down for just a moment, he could almost swear her cheeks were pink, but it was impossible to tell in this darkness, even with Nino the ring light. The shoot went well, albeit a bit short. Even so, Alia said she got what she needed for a charity sign and left, her sleepy Nino already passed out on the bench. Cat wanted a longer goodbye, but he couldn't blame Marinette, uh, multi-mouse, for trying to dip out early. He, too, had a major project due from the very same teacher. He just wouldn't tell her that. Oh, it had been a good day indeed. It would be nice to work together in the future. She sure made a good superhero. Logging into his computer a few days later, a notification caught Adrian's eye. The lady blog had a sale? Must be that impromptu multi-mouse photo shoot. He... Wait. Tagged multi-noir? Why were people shipping... Oh, oh, that's why. Alia edited the photos they took with hearts and romantic shoujo bubbles, leaving him to gape at how good Cat, rather he, looked with multi-mouse. 
If he wasn't himself, he'd totally ship this based off these pictures. Ah, oh, Camembert. Who was he kidding? He shipped this even though he was Cat Noir. Although, pff, he'd never tell Ladybug of these wavering feelings. Submitting his own order for the complete photo set, Adrian saved the photos to his phone and smiled. <laughs> Multi-Noir. Had a good ring to it. And with that, he logged off and grabbed his backpack to go to school, where he'd sit in front of that very same super awesome multi-mouse. What a life. What a life, but what a good life it was. For who else could say they sat in front of their superhero crush? <laughs> yeah. Despite the black leather, being Cat Noir turned out to be a lucky roll indeed. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this fanfiction. You can find more Miraculous Ladybug content by checking out other videos on this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to help support the YouTube algorithm. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!